I will discuss briefly about five variable K map. So let's say I have five variable here A, B, C, D, E. So first what I will do, I will draw a normal four variable K map, an ordinary four variable K map like that. And I will draw another one of that. So two four variable K maps here. And let's say the lower four variables, B, C, D, E. So this one, uh, B bar, C bar, B bar, uh, B bar, C, B, C, and B, C bar, like that. And there is D bar, E bar, D bar, E, so D, E, and D, E bar. Similarly, this one will be also like that. So B bar, C bar, B bar, C, B, C, and B, C bar. And here D bar E bar, D bar E, D E and D E bar. So two four variables, uh, four variable K maps uh, with the lower, lower four variables. And the difference between these two K map will be, this K map will be for A bar and this will be for A. So this is how we have a four variable, uh, handle four variable K map. So Whenever we have a have an expression, let's say we have a, b, c, d, e bar like that. So we have a here and b, c, d, e bar. So we know that this one is for a here. So it will be here in this K map and b, c, d, e bar. So b, c here and d, e bar is here. So it will be here. So this will be one here. This is just an arbitrary uh, uh, sum of product this one so this is just a product expression from the sum of product expression I'm just draw, uh, writing that similarly let's say we have another term in the sum of product and another product term let's say b bar c d e bar so that means b bar c d e bar we see that there is no a here b bar c d e bar so b bar c d e bar that one so this one is we will have again here is b bar c d e bar so since there is no a here the one will be both in a bar and a so we will have a one here and we will have a one here so that's how it will be if there is an a or a bar if there is an a or a bar in the expression it will go in this map according if there is an a bar if there is an a the term will be the one will go here and if there is an absence of a at all the one will go in both the k maps the one represents representing a bar and the one representing a so i will do an example afterwards so that it will clarify more hopefully